Hey, it's Ian Matthews here again from Osborne Technologies. Uh, I'm going to show you another little trick you can do with transparency for your lessons. Now, in this instance, what I'm doing is I've put together, let's say, a lesson on the Mayan culture and how the history of the Mayans moving across Central America um, would have been not just influenced by political stuff, but also maybe mountain regions and otherwise. Um, to prove that, I've kind of got an image of uh, where certain groups have moved across between the Gulf of Mexico and the Pacific Ocean here. But for the learners who maybe quite, can't quite understand where that is, how that fits into uh, sort of the global context, what I can also do is by selecting map function within Tango, I can bring in a live world map. And you can see there, full globe. If I zoom into that region, what I can do is try and match up roughly what it is that this area is looking towards. Okay, once I've found that area, which is probably about there by comparison, I can snapshot that image and grab a live Google image of that. Similarly, I can also change the map type to Microsoft Aerial, and then we've got a more satellite based view of that. Again, snap that and I can bring it out. Don't need this for now, so I'm going to delete this out of the way. Bring the satellite image in first. If I've laid that, say, about there, what I can do is bring this map over this here. And it's only going to be, to some extent, a, a rough approximation, but it gives the impression. Going back to the transparency bar that you can see here, if I then start to move this around, you can see that each map will kind of play into the other one as we go back and forth by scrubbing this banner here. And maybe that helps kind of explain a little bit to the learners whereabouts it would be in a contemporary context as well. Hope that helps.